lines to the air from different places. This is really pure. It's really high temperature clay. So uh, I found that it shrinks a little bit less. One time we was in, in Canada to make making one workshop and the clay was a lazy clay. <laughs> we put we put the, the slab and then London. It was it was fixotropic. <laughs> I mean, if you have dealt with fixotropic clay and I don't know what it it's it's like silly putty. It it'll be it'll feel stiff and as soon as you start to yeah, move okay. it or pound on it or jiggle it it'll just oh, yeah. sag. And Xenia noticed and, and uh, Zinia noticed it immediately and she she started to make slips. And it plus it's causing it, it she said this has got casting sodium silicate in it. That's what it is. Oh. So this has got sodium silicate in it because when you make like slip casting clay, it'll leave, you'll have trails, like certain paints will. You'll have, when you stir, it'll leave trails. And Zena was making slip for hand building. Said this is, and it was. Yeah, we we had to change what we were doing. When when the clay have a lot of silicon sodium, and you put a little water in, in one second, it's very liquid. Uh huh. It's it's the, water. Zena, Zena, that's the whole idea with casting slip. You, the, we made, we, she converted my local clay into casting slip, and it was so works, I mixed it up, and she had the formula down. She, she weighed everything out, and I mixed it up with my drill, and it was really thick. And I, it was like a five gallon bucket almost, and I said, this isn't gonna work for casting. It's like, it's way too thick. And she took a cup of sodium silicate and poured it in the bucket and went, Phew. I did that and demonstration at the junior college here recently, uh -huh. and I was totally impressed. <laughs> Yeah, amazing. Well, and the idea, the idea of that for casting slip is, if you use regular slip to try and pour into a slip casting mold, it has so much water in it, it, it never the plaster would never suck up the water. So by doing that, you reduce the amount of, you reduce, you get it liquid with much less water volume. And then you thickened it up with Epsom salt. Yeah. Okay. So it's amazing. Yeah. That's the first time I saw it was in Zinia did the conversion. Yeah, but I used the pure clay. My liquid, the, the don't make a slip on it, very soft clay, and put one. What is the gota? A drop. A drop of silicone and make a little more liquid. Another more liquid. But sometimes when it's past, if you go too much, make mm -hmm. more solid. Yeah, so it's the one point where it's like the, the optimal uh, uh, fluid fluidity. And if you go to, if you go past that, it'll start gumming.